What is going on guys? We're back here with another video. This this time a little bit of something a little different. Um, something I've been wanting to do. I'm still practicing a little, so excuse the lighting, uh, excuse the camera angle, excuse the environment, excuse everything. <laughs> uh, this is really one of my first attempts at recording um, and putting it on YouTube. So it is something I'm trying to experiment with. Uh, I do have a, a webcam that I'm recording my gaming videos with, but right here I'm just using my iPhone, uh, something really easy, something very simple. Um, but it, I wanna do this unboxing with you guys, and um, this is in no way sponsored <laughs> by um, <clears throat> by Scuff uh, whatsoever, but um, I have always liked controllers uh, with paddles, and this is the most <laughs> anticipated one that I've been waiting for for a long time. I've was dreaming about a PS5 with paddles. Uh, you can ask my boy Hayes, we would talk endlessly about how they should make a PS5 controller with paddles. A lot of other companies did it first, but uh, we all wanted that scuff because I've been used to playing a scuff uh, with a scuff and I know there's usually a lot of complaints about them breaking really easy or breaking really fast. But in my experience, I've always loved them. The PS4 scuff, the Infinity Pro, I believe it's called. Uh, one of the best controllers. Um, I've tried a lot of their products. I've tried the Impact also. The Impact was a little bit uh, was a little bit too big for my hands. I have little small hands, but um, I tried it too. I ended up selling that to to Hayes actually, my friend, my boy Snipe. Um, but I've always liked the PS4 controller a lot. The PS5 controller, um, it is something else. I did keep the rumbles in there to keep all the uh, the haptic feedback. Uh, uh, on any games that I might want to play with it. But uh, I remember this thing was announced and there were limited batches, limited supply, and I couldn't get it until finally they said, they said, screw it, <laughs> just let everybody order one. And I thought it was a little bit crazy. I was all like, how are they gonna fulfill all these orders? And sure enough, they put you in a queue. <laughs> so I actually ordered this probably like two months ago, I wanna say. Um, yeah, I believe it was like two months ago, and I was put in a queue, and I was kept up. Uh, I was being kept updated as far as where my order is, where it's tracked. Uh, I hand customized this controller, and I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, I wanted to open it on camera for the first time, so I haven't seen this. Uh, it's still brand new in the box. I did try to cover <laughs> uh, any of my addresses or anything like that. So without further ado, let's uh, get this started. This is. I can't tell you guys how much I've been wanting to uh to do this it's gonna be all done in one take so hopefully i don't mess up too bad but i have no idea i do remember how i customized it a little bit so hopefully um um it comes out the way it should uh, as you can see here it is it should be fully customized not one of the not one of the uh what do you call it pre-built ones give me a sec while i block the uh, address here i don't want to show that all right oh shoot and this is a uh, very high quality it feels very high quality uh and please keep in mind that this is not a review um definitely not a review i will be reviewing that after i've actually played with it um i will try it's going to be usually um uh, mainly used for multiplayer titles probably apex maybe warzone if i get it <laughs> um but uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll explain a little bit on what I like on my controllers and why I choose Scuff. Honestly, um, Scuff has never really let me down um, as far as breaking issues. I've had very minimal, but yet again, I have, <laughs> it's going to sound a little weird, but I have very tender hands, very uh, not very uh, aggressive hands, I should say. So my controllers tend to stay in relatively good shape. Uh, <laughs> so without further ado, let's see this bad girl right here Woo! guys don't even know pull here to open Woo! all righty and there she is dang look at this they even put a little bit of a little cushion so it doesn't get hit um oof, i don't even know how to lift this up I'll just lift it up by that Woo! there she is beautiful 
not bad at all. There's the back. <whistles> not bad at all. So I will talk about a little bit of the enhancements and changes that I made to it. See, see how it feels, see how it goes. Oof. Excuse me if I'm not pointing at the camera 100% correctly. <laughs> I do want to show that off though. Um, all right, so first off, you'll see by the uh, the design, it's the one that I picked. Uh, I've always been in a, a real hardcore nerd into comic books. I like the little comic book scheme. Uh, I picked it up out of all the bunch. They have a bunch of designs, honestly, and I always like comic booky type stuff. Um, I did get, this is usually how I play. I don't know if you guys can notice the difference right there. I do play with a higher right stick which is usually the one that you aim with and a shorter left stick which is just the one that you usually move with so i don't know i don't know if this is 100 percent replaceable but i don't know if i'll put a uh what do you call it a control freak on it but i'll, I'll try it without it at first i want to try the clicks beautiful uh i'll get to the to the buttons once we get back there but yeah, it's looking not too bad. It does look, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit plasticky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than the front design on the on the nameplate, I did, unfortunately, these I usually keep them with the traditional PlayStation symbols, but I had to pick one. So to go with it, I just stick with the white as well as these two. One with the white, like I said, on the analog stick, this one's a little bit higher than this one. Uh, home button's there, <laughs> everything else is there. And uh, this also changed it to gray as well on the back you'll see i put the uh, the rubber grip uh, which actually feels really good probably better than any other scuff controller i've i've held the the scuff, contro scuff controllers i have that camo it's not really grippy it's just like it has texture but it's not grippy this feels 100 percent gripped <laughs> gripped up <laughs> sorry about that and um i did not get digital taps or dig digital triggers um i personally don't like the feel of digital triggers um maybe for these top ones but in this case i didn't really feel like i had to um on the triggers they feel really funky because i'm so used to this and nowadays on games they you, you have a dead zone for your triggers so that's pretty good uh to you know compensate for that but as you can see that's that's the controller right there. Been waiting so long for this. Um, I'm glad you guys got to see it. Let me just see what else comes in this box. All right, post production shows here. <laughs> I know I was gonna do it all in one take, uh, and I did do it all in one take. But you know, going back to watching the video, I just wanted to point out a couple of little things. Um, so the the details are very detailed. Um, as I was saying, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that that pattern along the edge. You can even see that little dust there's a a little pattern on the edge of these and also i forgot that and i don't know if you can see the pattern on the inside too very cool very detailed uh i forgot to mention also uh i also use domed uh sticks if you see uh they're rounded instead of a uh, concave uh i pretty sure i'm i'm pretty sure i'm in the minority most people like concaved uh, for better grip, but for some reason, I don't know if I've just played PlayStation my whole life. I'm so used to the domed. Uh, I always do domed. Uh, as well as on the back, I was noticing uh, the textile uh, also uh, kind of grip detail on the back here. Very cool. I, 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 very, I like that a lot. <laughs> it gives it a little bit more uh, uniqueness, you know, than just slapping on the original default triggers. Um, and I completely forgot to talk about my paddles, which also, if you kind of look into the light, also have those textured, uh, textured sort of, uh, textile patterns on them too. Um, and I was going to say, uh, I usually only need to use two. Uh, so that's what I was feeling for when I was clicking. Um, it looks like my middle fingers will go on them just to click. I don't know if you guys can hear that or see that. Uh, I usually use those uh, to jump. And on Apex, this is to slide. On Call of Duty, this is to... 
Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, not slide. Um, on Apex, this is to switch weapons or holster it, so I'll just hold it when I'm running so I can run faster. And on Call of Duty, it's to plate up. <laughs> yeah, so I won't have to take my finger off to plate up. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll map this one to triangle. Uh, I know a lot of people like to use this one for uh, slide canceling, but for me personally, I've always used it to plate up just so I'll never, ever have to take my thumb off of this uh, joystick right here. But uh, yeah, just wanted to make uh, mention that uh, completely forgot on the first take as I was watching it back. So other than that, you know, that's all I got. Um, it does seem very, very high quality. I, I like the packaging. Definitely going to keep it. Uh, I guess accessories in here as long as well as a, a little guide or something. Safety information. Hmm. Nothing... Nothing too crazy. Uh, let me open this real quick in a sec. I just want to see if they have anything special. Oh uh, man, these gonna be a sticker or something. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it just looks like, like the basics. Nothing too crazy. I thought there would be a key. Oh, maybe it's in the accessories. Okay, I guess just a little how-to manual. Excuse me. What? I'll put that back later. <laughs> good, so, don't want to waste time, but let's see what accessories come inside. Might be a magnet key, maybe? I don't know if they still use those things. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, this is really nice. I was I was thinking if they were gonna do this, um, you know, just in case you do want to try out and switch, uh, they do give me an extra long one, an extra short one. So that's actually really really nice. I'm glad that they did that. I was actually a little curious to see uh, <laughs> if they were gonna give you anything like that. And it does come with a nice uh, threaded cable, man. That that thing is nice. USB-C, even color-coded. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, uh, this right here is all metallic uh, color. Looks really good, actually. Not bad at all. Okay. So I guess, yeah, I guess I gotta <laughs> see uh, how else. Apologize uh, if my angle kind of switched up a little bit. <laughs> my, uh, phone started to tip but uh yeah i guess i gotta figure out what uh how to take these on and off <laughs> but uh all right guys i appreciate you guys uh just looking at this with me uh this is not a field review it's just an unboxing uh gotta see where this where this goes how it feels uh, i know there's a lot of uh playing to do to see it but let me show it to you guys one more time uh like I said, not not sponsored at all, but I've always personally did play with a scuff controller. So, you know, if anybody's interested in purchasing one, uh, they are available. You will be put in a queue, so you might have to wait a little bit, but at least they are getting them out as quick as possible. Whew, can't wait to play. <laughs> but all right, guys. Uh, Catch you guys on the next video. Appreciate you guys for uh, watching and sticking it out with me. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.